Ukrainian drones have struck Russia's Voronezh and Belgorod regions, Russian media reported on Tuesday evening. A drone has also been spotted over Bryansk region. According to media reports, at least five unmanned aerial vehicles hit an industrial enterprise producing civilian products in Voronezh region. More than five unmanned aerial vehicles attacked an industrial enterprise that produces exclusively civilian products in one of the districts of the Voronezh region. Fire occurred at the enterprise. According to preliminary data, there were no casualties. Employees were evacuated, head of the region, Alexander Guzov, wrote on his Telegram channel. Guzov said emergency services were brought to the scene, warning that there was a danger of a second drone attack. According to Telegram channels, the factory that was struck in Voronezh produces mayonnaise and margarine. Another drone attack was launched on Russia's Belgorod region, according to Baza Telegram channel. One of the Ukrainian drones hit an oil fat factory in Alexivka, Belgorod region, and caused an explosion. Baza quoted Belgorod Governor Vyacheslav Gladkov as saying that air defense forces shot down several UAVs, and as a result of falling debris from drones, industrial premises were damaged on the territory of one of the enterprises. In addition, damage was recorded at an infrastructure facility and on a power line. Residents of several streets are temporarily left without electricity, Gladkov added. The attacks came hours after Ukraine struck an ammunition depot in Karachivo city in Russia's Bryansk region with the use of US-made Atakms long-range missile. The Russian Defense Ministry said a total of 45 drones were shot down by air defense systems. Завод компаньевка. Ебало. Попал под раковку. Только что. Пиздец. Охуеть. Даже без блять. Ukraine's foreign minister Andriy Sibiha is warning of dire consequences as Russia escalates aggression against his country. Speaking on Monday ahead of a Security Council meeting, Sibiha said Russia not only posed a threat to Ukraine but also the international community. This war is much larger than Ukraine. It will define the future of European and global security, the future of international order. Order based on international law. He also welcomed the supply of US-supplied longer-range missiles to Ukraine for deeper strikes inside Russia. President Joe Biden authorized Ukraine to use US-supplied missiles to strike deeper inside Russia, easing limitations on the longer-range weapons as Russia deploys thousands of North Korean troops to reinforce its war, according to a US official and three other people familiar with the matter. Biden's move follows the presidential election victory of Donald Trump, who has said he would bring about a swift end to the war and raised uncertainty about whether his administration would continue the United States' vital military support for Ukraine. I thank my friend, my friend Secretary Lamy for setting Russian aggression as a priority for the UK presidency. This global threat demands global response. When I departed for New York, Russia undertook one of the most massive air attacks against Ukraine. With my wife and children, we had a sleepless night, just like thousands of other Ukrainian families. About 90 drones and 120 missiles of all types across the country. Russia once again targeted civilians and energy infrastructure ahead of winter, intentionally. Such strikes are a constant, horrible reality in Ukraine. This time, 
Russian missiles targeted our nuclear energy system. In particular, transmission substations which are part of our nuclear power plants. Such Russian strikes create, create unacceptable risks, risks for our nuclear safety and security. This is a danger not only for Ukraine, but for the entire world. Russia's massive missile attack is a response to all those who called and visited Putin recently, to those who shook his hand, held telephone talks with him, asked him for peace. He only wants war, and he will only stop when we stop him and force him to accept a just peace. Tomorrow marks 1,000 days since Russia's full-scale invasion. In total, Russian aggression against Ukraine has already lasted more than 10 years. I would like to remind this. 1,000 days is a big number, and it shows how urgent it is to achieve a comprehensive, just and long-lasting peace. It is also shows the failure of existing international mechanisms and the need to update them. Russian aggression harms not only Ukraine, but many more countries and people. It caused a number of global crises in food, energy, security, and other areas affecting millions of people. We need real and just peace, and it can only be achieved through strength, not appeasement. Russia creates global security threats by consolidating military alliances with such rogue states as Iran and DPRK. In February 2022, many experts predicted Ukraine's quick collapse, and they were wrong. But none could have envisioned the presence of North Korean troops in Europe fighting against a European country. If not stopped, Russia will continue the proliferation of war. The Security Council must keep addressing the Russia, the Russia crisis, including within the Council itself. I mean Russia's illegal occupation of the Soviet permanent seat. Ukraine's stance is clear and well known. Comprehensive, just and lasting peace. Based on UN Charter, this is at the center of the peace formula. This war is much larger than Ukraine. It will define the future of European and global security, the future of international order, order based on international law. We must take the right steps and decisions. We must not repeat the mistakes of the past.